okay so like i was saying if you are assigning you use a single equal to and then you can't even assign inside a you know bracket so since we are comparing here we use a double equal uh, we use two equal to so i mean <laughs> this is actually very funny but anyway <laughs> so we are saying if the text box is empty which is this is empty okay meaning there's nothing inside we will do something here in between this okay this is we are going to do something here then we'll do an else else if then we look for what we named the password as password textbook as password underscore txt we name it and make sure that one too is not empty so if it's not if it's empty we give or we echo something out for the user to tell them that they should enter their password or something okay 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 and then afterwards we go to else so after all this statements have run okay all this all this command have finished running and then they are all not empty then now else we are going to do something here okay so uh so when this is not we use let's just use a simple pop-up box um c sharp use that's message box dot show and then we just show the user something we put it in and we enter maybe enter i mean enter your username okay and then the same thing applies to this part dot show enter your password okay so if let me just space this one out So if the code is run and then the person clicks um, the login button, okay, and the person clicks it and then um, the text box, the first one is empty. It will prompt the person to enter their username. When they enter and then this one is still empty, this line will also run and then it will prompt them to enter their password. So let's try that one out and see. Okay, so let's run the program. okay so um i seem to be having a problem and then uh oppression was gonna be applied to strength okay uh okay so um i did a mistake i forgot to tell you so in order to get the value of a text box you have to add dot text okay so that converts it into what a string okay so and then this one is dot text okay okay so even though when we run it it's going to fix the errors for us um, let's just run it again okay Okay, so we are having a problem with the my SQL connector we we added. Um, so I'll just take um, that one out and then I will show you how to solve that one um, in the next video and then we will do our connection. Okay, so let me move this one. This error says um, the version of this one is the version is I think this one is higher. So um, let's just take that one. Let's run the program again. Okay, so now everything is working. Um, okay, so our program has started, and then so when I click the login, it's going to prompt me to enter my username. So, okay, so this is it. So now if I enter my username as maybe let's just say Mike, and then I've not entered my password, and I click again, it says enter your password. Okay, so everything is working fine now. So if we say password, we just put okay maybe Mike. Let's just same thing and then when we click and um, login again nothing is going to show because in the else where um the program has executed these two statements there's nothing we have written there that 
is going to be prompted so that's why nothing is working now i mean nothing prompted us any, anymore okay so everything is working fine and then let's just write some code inside the else and then let's put static or static data inside uh, the else statement okay so we are going to say if into bracket um let's just say user okay dot text is equal to is equal to um, let's see michael okay and we use and as in double end in c sharp we use double end to combine two statements and see if they are true so and then we say password dot text dot, dot text is equal to equal to uh, equal to so our password we just put one two three four five six okay and then we just put this here to see if this so what this statement is saying is that if our username dot text box our username text box as in um, this text box is equal to michael and then the password is equal to one two three four five six then let's do something here so then else if this statement is not true and then there's they are not equal to this then what we just echo something out so let me just copy this one and put it here and then just change what's inside here we just say um incorrect incorrect sorry incorrect username and password okay uh, so okay so what this statement is saying that when the, the user enters the username and it's equal to michael and then it, the password is equal to one two three four five six then what we do something here then we also what just echo something and say login success for okay okay so what this part is saying is that when the user enters the details provided here that um, the username is this and then the password is this then you tell the person that the was login is successful and then uh, else if they are not equal to these details here then you tell the person what, what they are entering is wrong so incorrect username and password okay just simple this one is static data so it is more like an inbuilt username and password that has been put in inside the software and then it's static it can be changed okay so this is how you do it this is just using the static but then um when we connect it to the database and then we've given a username and then the password inside the database where you can change them and all yes we can just put them here and then we can work with okay so this is just a simple application and then i think it's great okay um yes so if for some reason maybe using the static data so the back i mean forward slash the two if you enter two forward slashes it means comment so it means you are commenting out that line of code meaning it's not going to be worked or the compiler will not read that part okay so if the, the person enters the, 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 these details <laughs> okay <laughs> these details and then they are correct then you can either echo something out or we can redirect them into a new form okay where well, maybe a new form will be named dashboard and then now they can continue working with their software and all that okay yes so if it, when we connect um the the software to mysql we'll do that and then we we'll open a new form when the, the person's detail is correct okay okay so i'd like to end here and then uh see you guys in the next video so i think now it's getting interesting okay yeah so see you guys in the next video thank you